Okay, welcome to another lunar flight video. And I'm going to go ahead and record this one immediately after the previous one. Just do one more, one more video with the lunar flight here tonight. In the uh, last video, I completely started over with lunar flight. I deleted my original profile and created a new one because I feel like the first uh, several videos that I did, you know, I was just learning the basics, how to control it. In fact, I went back and watched video number one tonight just out of curiosity. And you can clearly see in that video that I knew absolutely nothing about this game. So those first few videos were just familiar, familiarizing myself with the control scheme learning how the, and learning how the different missions worked. So we've got a brand new profile, and in the last flight we had a couple of failures, even so, but a couple of successes as well. We now have 3,000, almost 4,000 experience points and uh, 35,000 in cash. So here in just one more success, we should have enough uh, experience to purchase some level two upgrades. So let's just jump right into it, go to missions, and we're going to just pick whatever mission number one is, which is this time is a data survey. So fortunately, it's a different mission. Accept it, put it on the nav, and we have no cargo. So that means that our lift to power ratio should be 36. We only have 173 meters to go, so we can probably just get all the way over there with translation. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, power up and try to lock at that magical position, which is almost impossible to do. So then you just have to hold down the left trigger forever in order to get up to the base, which just wastes a ton of fuel. And I really, I'll say it again, I'll say it in probably every single video, I really think there needs to be a way to adjust the power increment so that it's not so slow. All right, we're yawed about around to where we need to be, so you zero out the yaw and translate forward. Had to think about the translation for a second. Take out just a touch of power now, because we only need 36 to maintain hover. So we'll go down to like 35.8 so that we're not climbing. Does look like we have enough. And let's put in a little more power. We need to get up a little bit higher, I think. That should be enough forward movement. Start eliminating the forward movement now. And the way these survey missions work, I now know, is that you have to get inside that sphere and then there's a button that you have to push to acquire the data. And the first few times I got inside the sphere, I was in there and I'm like, okay, now what? So we're still moving forward, and you can see in the V-cam down here that the velocity vector is right pretty much on the center, so we shouldn't go to it. Let's put in a little more forward movement, though, because we're... Okay, we are okay. Let's maybe climb just a touch, so a little bit more power. We don't want to overdo it, though, because then we have to take out a bunch of power. And we'll have an indicator light when we're inside. Um, it's actually eliminated our forward movement, though. Probably overshooting now kind of am yeah that's a mistake should have slowed down sooner but again since you don't know what your what your actual horizontal rate is it's hard to know when to slow down because you only it only shows your vertical rate All right we are backing up let's take out that power though and the fat the better way to handle the power is to toggle the lock off and on so I think we're backing up now a little bit yeah so we've got this indicator here we're within the we're within the field so we can kind of zero out our velocity and again this doesn't mean anything because it's a combination of vertical and horizontal so it's really difficult to know exactly how fast you're moving with respect to the ground underneath of you and now we need to acquire data uh i got too much power in though 36 there we go um actually we can't acquire data now because we're not within the field actually maybe we are Come over here. Um, nope, the acquire button's not on, so we need to back up. It's backing up, and now we've got the light. So now we can look over here, and we've got the acquire, so we hit acquire with the left mouse. Just takes a few seconds for that to happen. While that's happening, I'm going to begin yawing around back to the pad, because we have to go back to the pad to be a success. I'm not sure if it matters which one you go to, though. All right, there we've got it. But I assume that uh, B, the one we came from, is the closest. So we'll go back to that. Okay, and we're almost yawed around. So let's start eliminating that yaw. 
There we have it. Let's uh, translate forward. And we need to go forward with a fair amount of speed because we're, you know, we're already down to 390 on the fuel. Pretty worried that we're not going to make it. Take out a touch of power so we can start descending a bit. Save a little bit of fuel too, it should. And we have a bit of roll, so let me roll toward the low side. If we look at our V-cam, we can see the velocity vector is getting toward the path. That's what we want. Let's actually put in a little bit more forward movement, though. Down to 300 on the fuel. I think we're going to make it. A little bit more power. We're dropping a little bit too fast. And again, I really wish I knew how far away from the pad I was. I just I can't tell. Start eliminating the forward movement. Okay, we're here. So now we just need to settle down on the pad without overshooting it. And I guess we guessed correctly on the distance. That's it. And settle down on the pad slowly so we don't drop like a rock. Turn off the power. And I th think you need to yeah, upload. Okay, so same thing. When you get the data acquired, you have to upload it. And that will probably give us the experience we need. It does. Motion rank, cadet. Alright, let's shop for better stuff. Refuel. Uh, when you rank up, you don't actually get to carry more fuel. It's just that the engines become more efficient, I've noticed. So you still have a limit of a thousand. And I don't know what that means. Is it a thousand meters per second? Like delta V? Is that your delta V? Whatever. Anyway, shop, thrust, 41,000 in cash, so we can pretty much afford everything. So we'll increase thrust by 30%, increase fuel efficiency by 30%, increase RCS by 25%. I wonder what this does. Again, I really kind of don't want to use stabilizers because I want to have to fly it myself. But I am curious what that does, but I'll look at it later. Let's get some fuel. I guess you can actually buy this even when you have... Even when you're just level 1. I didn't I didn't know that. Okay, so we're carrying three extra fuel modules. And yeah, you can see that now in the... Before I had my webcam all the way to the right. And you, it was hiding those fuel modules, but now you can see it. Alright, let's close that out. Let's pick another mission. We'll do one more mission on this map, then we'll go to the next map, just to kind of have things be a bit more interesting. Go to mission number one. It's another data survey. Put it on the nav, and it's over that way. And we can even see it from here. All right, again, now, if I just press the select button, or actually it's not select, it's uh, the back button, it will automatically lock to whatever the previous setting was, and that's going to be the best thing to do here, because we're not carrying any cargo. So our lift power, well, actually, our lift power does change because now we're level 1. So we want 27.5 for the base now instead of 36. So maybe I am better off just trying to press the trigger. That's pretty close. I'll take it. Okay, we are yawed around, and we've got a very short distance to go, so let's just translate over there, keep a, make life easy. Looks like we need some more power, though. Let's not overdo the power. Reducing or shutting off the power lock just to get the vertical rate back to near zero. Climb a little bit. There we go. Just trying to get basically to the center of the survey point. 
y'all around a little bit. About right there. And actually, let's be tricky. Let's turn backwards. That way we're facing back toward the landing site. Start eliminating the forward movement. Okay, we're inside the, uh, the sphere. So we can acquire data now. Start putting in some forward movement. Because I think we'll get at the data. Got it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it looks like we need to maybe descend a little bit to get down to that landing pad. More forward movement to turn off the throttle lock for a moment. Relock. And we're some mystical number away from the landing pad, and we don't know. 97 minus 13 is uh, 84, so we should be 84 meters out. Shut off the throttle lock, wait for the velocity vector to get over the pad, then relock. 65 minus 12 is uh, 53 meters out. Start eliminating some forward movement. Put in a little more power to not drop so fast. Okay, we should be 34 minus 7 is 20... Was that like 26 meters out? 27, something like that? Okay, we're here. Just eliminate the remaining forward movement and settle down on the pad. Okay, turn off the power and upload the data. And this time it uploaded on the first try. All right, uh, 250 experience, 2000 cash. All right, let's refuel and let's go to the uh, let's go to the next map. Let's change things up a little bit. Okay, and I think we can come over here. No, we have to actually get the maps from here. Let's go to map two. Let's not make things too hard on ourselves. Load up map two. We'll do uh, one or two missions here. And that will probably be all the time we have for this part of the video. All right, let's go missions. Mission number one. Accept. Put it on the nav. See how much cargo we're carrying. 2,000. And with a level one upgrade, we need 29.5. That should be pretty close to where we locked last time. But I don't know if it carries your lock over from one to the next. Let's find out. We have 1,000 meters to go, so we need to get over there expeditiously and it does remember so we need 20 okay we should be 29.5 is enough let me do this let's get up and then lock y'all all the way around and then put in a bunch of forward movements we got a long way to go all right Unlock to shut off the thrust, and then just kind of toggle the lock back and forth. I'm watching the V rate. Don't want it to get the you know below zero. But again, I don't. If I just continually thrust while pitching over, it will um, make me climb really far, and I don't want that. All right. So probably 
I don't know, again, the velocity down at the bottom means absolutely nothing, so it doesn't even do any good to look at it. Just put in some amount of forward movement and then start yawing back. Again, we're climbing a lot more than we need to be. Actually, we're not, because we, we have to climb up that hill. And we'll lock it right about there. And let it come down. Let the velocity vector drop a little bit more. Lock about there. And we're at 30 on the thrust. We have something like 730 meters to go, I think. Again, this uh, these two numbers basically mean absolutely nothing. Because the only way you can get any meaningful data from here is to pause it and then say that whatever that is minus your altitude is approximately how far you are away from the landing pad. Okay, I'm going to put in a touch of thrust. Even though it says the hover point's 29.5, we're still losing a bit on the vertical rate as we go forward. But maybe we're not pitched at exactly 0.00, .00 so that could be why. I'm going to put in a little more forward translation, though, because... We still have some distance to go. See, I really wish... Like, what is my distance from the landing pad right now? Like, because this... My altitude's increasing because I'm coming up over top of this hillside, right? So... I forgot you can't put, look down. So, like, you saw that my altitude was climbing, but obviously I'm not actually ascending. So... Uh, how do I get back inside? I guess I have to unpause. So, like, how far away am I from that pad? I have no idea. And you really need to know that because that's how you determine when you're going to begin slowing down. Anyway, put in a touch of power because we are somehow descending a bit. Even though we're greater than the thrust threshold. All right, now we'll begin slowing down. Turn off the power. Slowing way down. Down to just like a meter, well, like two, like that. Okay. Now lock. And we actually need a little more power to get up over those obstacles. So I think one of the ch changes between the maps is not only the distance, but there also seem to be more obstacles in the way when you get to your destination, and that's good. That's definitely not a bad thing. You need you need more challenge as you go forward. In fact, I do wish there was more than four maps. It'd be cool if they would add more more planets, uh, more moons. You know, like do the same type of stuff, but also have you know Triton or you know Mercury as a as a challenge. All right, so we're over top of the landing paddle. We have to do a settle down. So just putting in a little bit of translation one way or the other to make sure that we're not moving off the pad. And we're descending at 0.15, that's fine. Take out a little bit of power, descend a little bit faster, save some fuel. And we're down. Shut off the power as soon as you can when you touch down so that you don't burn through any more fuel because you do get fuel bonuses. Um, now what did we do? Oh yeah, we need to upload. Okay, and we gained, we gained uh, 250 experience, 2,500 cash, let's refuel, and let's do another mission this time. Let's do a lost cargo mission. Those are still a little troublesome for me, uh, just because it can be difficult to find the cargo. Um, there's one right there, so we'll take it. So, southwest of Delta. All right, now the problem here, like when you're an orbiter, you've got that that horizontal strip across the top that tells you what your heading is. So I need to go to Delta. So let me press B, which toggles the navigation. But I need to be west of Delta. So north is here, which means west is here. So west of Delta should be like over here, right? These missions can be pretty tricky. We've got extra fuel, so maybe we can pull it off. All right, let's uh, let's 
to resume the previous lock, although we're not carrying any cargo at the moment. So we're going to be locking higher than we need to be, but I think it'll still be better to do that and then just reduce the amount that we don't need. And actually, I think what's probably better, put in some power to get up, then lock. That way you're not wasting fuel sitting there on the landing pad trying to adjust your power level. Okay, yawing around. So we're going to go basically over to the base mostly, and then we need to be somewhere west of the base. So we'll keep our position just a little bit off to the west. Now pitch forward, unlock to get so we're not climbing, and put in lots of forward movement. And pitch back a little bit uh, so that we're not descending. Okay, right about there. Watch it so that we don't climb a bunch. All right, I'm gonna say that's sufficient sufficient forward velocity. Yeah, that's enough. Now lock, actually, let me, there, now lock. All right, hang on, I gotta think about this because west of where we're going if that's north, I mean, obviously west is here, but that would be, from that perspective, from that base, that would be southwest. So exactly west should be 90 degrees of the base. So somewhere, when we get to the base, somewhere that way should be west of the base. And it did say west, right? Locate lost cargo. Oh, southwest. All right. Some pause. And we'll begin braking here shortly. Let's start braking. Not too soon, though. So we still have 300 and some meters to go just to get toward the base. Although we might be overshooting because we. Let's go ahead and get our velocity desk down to something that we can manage with RCS. All right, 2.5, that's manageable with RCS. Let's get back to the zero position on the pitch. And zero out the velocity and lock. Okay, now... All right, hang on, I just have to think about it for a minute because I, I don't know where I'm at in relation to that base. It's over there, and I'm here, which is what exactly? Again, pause because that's the base there in front of me. North is there. So north is to my left, which means west. Southwest of Delta. Hmm. Because I don't want to have to go all the way to Delta. You know what? I actually have the wrong base selected. Okay, we are way off from our target. So here's a new plan. We're gonna land on Beta, refuel, and then go to Delta. Putting in a bit of right translation because I'm slipping to the, to the left a bit. Okay, there we go. And forward translation, shut off the lock. We're like way higher than we need to be. I have the wrong base selected. How many times have I done that and not noticed? Okay, power. Power up. Okay, 
we're like 50 meters out from the landing pad maybe power up lock 30 meters maybe I can refuel using my fuel canisters over there, but I don't want to do that since I'm so close to this landing base. I just want to land here and refuel with the pad. So once we get over top the pad, I will actually unlock the power. That's not quite what I had in mind, but nevertheless, we're down. The idea was that I would get over top the pad, then unlock the power, then manually adjust the power to land. So I took 32% uh, damage there from a hard hit. Let's refuel. Okay, now let's select the correct base. And let's go over there and see if we can find that cargo. Okay, southwest of Delta. All right, uh, again, power up till we get some vertical speed, then lock. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Yaw over to this position, noting that we have to climb over a hill. So as we go forward, make sure that we have some vertical speed. Get rid of the yaw, unlock the power. Okay, that's plenty of forward pitch because if we go any more we're actually going to be facing into the ground and that's probably sufficient on the forward movement getting the pitch indicator back to the zero point and somewhere about there Waiting for the uh, waiting for the V rate to drop, and then we'll relock the engines. Eight hundred meters out, maybe. Okay, but again, we're not going directly to the pad. Okay, V rate is uh, basically zero, so relock the engines. Southwest of the pad, so in this case, north there, so south is going to be more like over this way. And then west is going to be, so it's probably over here somewhere should be, I think. It would help if I had a HUD that would like, you know, an orbiter where you can see, you know, you're facing 270, 280, whatever. Okay, we are close enough to the pad that we should probably begin braking. Bring the vertical, or rather the useless velocity number down to a low number, like 2.5. And that's actually good enough because we still have some distance to go. Watching the vertical speed. Okay, get everything back to zero. Now we need to go southwest from here. Let's lock the power. Let's get back to zero. Now lock the power. I wonder if I should land and refuel first. No, let's not do that. We're almost out of time on this video. All right, let me think. Southwest from here. So south, obviously, is the direction we're going, and then west is over this way. So probably that field. Let's do that. Let's go over there. A little bit of forward translation, a little bit of right translation. Put in some yaw so we can face the direction that we're going. Take out a bit of uh, power. Actually, that's, I keep hitting the wrong button for taking out power. I don't really want to remap them. A little bit of right translation, because I'm thinking that the module is going to be down there in that pit. Because usually, like, whenever you see po um, uh, lost cargo, it's always in a field of rocks. It doesn't ever just appear, like, on the side of a cliff. But I'm not sure. That's See, this is like directly south of the base, so it's probably over there.
All right, we need some more power. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be over here, so let's yaw around. Uh, power. Lock the power. So southwest of that base. Alright, we're out of time on this video, so I'm gonna, going to go ahead and touch down. Just right here where we are. Nice, safe touchdown. There we go, although we kind of touched down on the hillside. And again, so somewhere down that way maybe would be where that module is at. But we will locate it in another flight. If you like this part of the video, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. I couldn't care less. But I do care about your comments. I love it when you guys comment. It's awesome. Makes my day. So leave your comments down below. Questions, thoughts, all that good stuff. And check for links, be in the description down below. Put a link to the developer's website for this game if you want to go check it out. It's got some videos on there, some pictures. You can read about it a little bit. And if you want to pick up this game, it's only like 10 bucks on Steam. It's a great deal, in my opinion, so check that out as well. And I will see you in the next video.